Hello guys, welcome back to another video. The Quixel team over at Epic just released this new Quixel Megascans Dark Ruin sample project. This is sort of like Dark Souls or Lord of the Rings meets Unreal Engine 5 with these photorealistic shadowy ruins. All of the assets in this pack are nanite, brand new high quality Quixel Megascans and you can claim them right now on Fab for free. So in this video we'll be checking out this complete sample project along with all the assets that you get. This sample project is absolutely crazy and also guys don't forget to leave a like on the video also comment down below what your guys' thoughts are on this project make sure that you subscribe for more future free asset videos so here we are inside of the dark ruins mega scan sample project so as you can see we spawn on this beach and it is just absolutely insane just the detail of all the different quixel mega scans in the scene so i can walk over to the beach here and this is just crazy look at the water you can see all the little caustics and all the tiny little ripples there. But this is basically the scene. So if I pan over here, just look how massive this mountain is. You can see how big the cliff is. And everything is nanite quality. So if I just zoom in on, you know, part of the rocks or even like a piece of wood, everything in here is Megascan's detail. So all of the little props that the player is not even looking at. So look up in the distance, we can see the little castle over there. But yeah, this is just the massive mountain and the gateway, you can see the staircase that goes and winds up there. And before we get any further on into the video, I want to quickly tell you about our sponsor for this video. Have you ever dreamed of making your own video game? Are you tired of watching millions of YouTube tutorials that don't teach you anything? Well, I was in your same position many years ago, and so that's why I created the ultimate Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course. This course will teach you step-by-step -step how to create a Steam multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5 from complete scratch. You'll learn how to create a drag and drop inventory system, a crafting system where you can craft different types of tools and items. We'll create a harvesting system and gathering system where you can chop down trees, you can mine rocks and pick bushes. We'll add a complete building system where you can build a base and a raiding and clans or tribe system so you can raid other players. We'll even add this open world map and show you how to host the game on a server on Amazon Web Services. This course is jam-packed with over 200 150 course lectures and over 70 plus hours of content to help you get started on your game development journey in Unreal Engine 5. And I made this course because it was extremely hard to get into game development because there was no course like this that shows you start to finish what it takes to make a game. You can pick up the course right now on my website smartpoly.teachable.com or click the top link in the description below. You can get the course right now with a big discount. The price of the course will be raised later on and you don't want to miss out on this limited time offer. So take your game development skills to the next level and check out the course link in the description below But yeah, this is the beach Just super detailed. These are a lot of the Nordic Megascans rocks that you can see and we have this Sort of boat shipwreck little dock over there. So let's go ahead and make our way up to the staircase But just absolutely insane quality on the rocks It doesn't look like this should be a video game like the character definitely doesn't look like it belongs in this scene but just look at all the details on the rock. So let's go ahead and make our way up the staircase here. So yeah, just super detailed staircase. I think this is a new asset that you get in this pack. But this would be perfect for a you know Souls-like RPG game. Or maybe they can make the new Lord of the Rings game with, with some of these assets. But look at this. we got to jump across that part. And just look at all the different props. And let's go ahead and continue all the way up to the top here. We have a little chest of gold. Let's go ahead and run up here. So here we are at the gateway into Mordor, I guess. But take a look at this view, guys. This is absolutely insane. Just look at all of the detail, the fog, the ocean out there. And you can just see the mountain, rocks falling off the side. This is just incredible. We haven't gotten a proper Unreal Engine 5 demo like this in seems like a couple of years. So this is definitely something pretty impressive to check out. But yeah, let's go ahead and enter inside of this dark shadowy ruins. So should all light up with lumen there with the dynamic lighting. So we can see sort of what it looks like. We have this puddle of water. And check this out. We have all like these hieroglyphics on the wall. Let's go ahead and enter into this cave. It's just incredible to see all of the detail in here. We have this little wooden pathway. Check this out. We have the skeleton of some other player here. 
Looks like he had a bunch of loot and gold over there. But look at this. This is absolutely beautiful, especially the entrance. All the little candles. I might even be using the Mega Lights plugin here for all of the candle lights there. This is crazy. So this is the main entrance. And you can see it is just completely vertical. So it goes all the way up with all these different bridges. Honestly reminds me of Mordor from Lord of the Rings. Especially with all this green lighting. So yeah, this is all local fog, which is a brand new feature in Unreal Engine 5.5. It allows you to drag in local fog volumes and place them wherever you see fit. So yeah, check out the chain. And I love these metal spires, these sharp pieces on the side. It really just gives the overall aesthetic or look. But yeah, just look at the crazy detail. And let's just go ahead and pan around to give us a better look of everything. We can just see the sky up there. And let's continue just walking on this bridge. You could put a boss on here, have a crazy boss fight on this bridge section, you know, to get across. But yeah, check this out. This part goes into another cave system. So let's just keep walking through here. And this takes us out sort of into this bridge. And this is crazy. So look in the distance, we can see sort of the, these castle or building ruins. And this bridge over here, is super detailed as well just the different wood pieces to continue on in this little corridor even the chains you can see the detailed little chains hanging there but look at this little wooden bridge and out into this foggy valley this is just absolutely incredible all of the assets that they put in here look at all the scaffolding and wooden pieces this kind of reminds you of you know the structures that orcs would build in you know lord of the rings but yeah, let's continue walking into this little corridor over here and we make our way over here. Look at this. So these have like these little tomb areas and they've decorated with different props. So they put in, you know, gold coins, chains, barrels, all these little candles. And I'm really wondering if they're using mega lights in the scene for all the little lights. But yeah, look at that. And we have all these little light shafts or god rays casting light into here. Looks like we have sort of some prison cells, so maybe we'll go into here. And look at that. Look at all the gold coins on the ground. That is just crazy. We'll have to take a second look at that in free cam mode. But look at all of the piles of rocks and debris. Looks like this part sort of caved in. And just look at this cliff drop off into the abyss. This is just incredible seeing what you can create with just some... Megascans assets, these are all photorealistic, which are actual real world objects that they've 3D scanned using photogrammetry. So they'll take a high resolution camera and capture many different images all around the prop and object and that'll allow them to bring it into a 3D program like Unreal Engine. So that's why everything looks so realistic. But look at all the chains dangling. I don't think they have like physics enabled so we can just walk through them, but look at this final layer. This would be the ultimate boss layer in a video game. If we just peer up to the top, you can see the metal spires. This is like the ultimate layer. But yeah, this is the Quixel Dark Ruins pack. I don't have this as an actual demo that you can download, so maybe I'll need to package this so that people who don't have Unreal Engine download can play test it out on their PC, see how it runs. But this is definitely one of the more impressive demos that they've put out over at Epic. And I have to jump a couple of times over the collision because the collision isn't properly set up for some of the different models. But yeah, this is just crazy how detailed everything is. And Unreal Engine has definitely come a long way since, you know, 5.0. We've checked out the Valley of the Ancient demo, which is sort of like the canyons, realistic canyons assets. But this is just a whole nother level of detailed environment assets. I think that's pretty much it for this scene or the demo. I can sort of give you guys the free cam view. So here we are in the editor. As you can see, this is sort of like the scene that we saw here. So let me go in the immersive mode. But just look how detailed everything is, especially like the fishing net and sort of these wooden props. So we can zoom in on just the detail on all the rocks, especially these pebbles. This is just crazy. But yeah, here is the massive mountain entrance. So if we look through all the ruins, this is basically what it looks like. Let's go ahead and enter here real quick. 
to kind of give you guys a flyby of everything. This is like the main entrance into the cavern. So you can see what the fog looks like. I love the design on the bridge. Just, you know, the different spires and metal pieces, as well as the stone. Super detailed, so I can zoom in and show you guys just the crazy amount of detail on all the rocks, the pebbles, and stuff that they have scattered on this bridge. We can check out the stone tile, and look at this water puddle too. You can just see the little ripples in there. But yeah, crazy detail. I can even fly up here and show you guys some of this, although it might not be meant for, you know, this close-up point of view but yeah let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this asset pack down in the comments i'll be interested to know what you guys think if you have any uses for the assets in this pack but look at this part i love this part especially just because of the randomness and the placement of these assets just this wooden bridge scaffolding i can see here and these rocks looks like it caved in and collapsed and if we look over in the distance, you can see sort of these ruins in the background. But just a very impressive scene overall. And this is something I'll need to definitely try in VR. So I'll make a future video just checking this out in VR. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. Make sure you guys are subscribed and stay up to date when that video is released. But yeah, check out these little candles. Just the nanite quality on them. You can see the wax, all the little details in there. Let's go ahead and fly through this last part over here into this sort of jail cell. I really been meaning to check out these golden coins because I knew they're going to be super detailed. Like we can even zoom up on the coin itself and just see like the actual face and engraving on the coin. So that's how detailed some of these coins and props are. Just crazy to see that up close in this free cam mode. But yeah, that is the Dark Ruins Mega Scans Asset Pack. Let me know your guys' overall thoughts on it down in the comments down below. Is this something that you'll use in your projects? Are you going to make sort of a Souls-like themed game? Definitely going to be checking this out in VR. So yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts out down in the comments. That's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.